Hi, my name is Ellen and I'm the Interpretation Manager at the MAC, and today for our behind the scenes video we are looking back at the Spokane Symphony exhibition Music Binds Away, and today we will be talking with John Church, the principal trombonist of the symphony, who was actually highlighted in this show, and so he'll share with us a little bit about what that was like, as well as perform a little piece of music. Hello, my name is John Church. Uh, I play principal trombone in the Spokane Symphony uh, Orchestra. I am from Portland, Oregon. What made you pick the trombone? Funny you ask. Uh, it wasn't my choice, but uh, I came around to it in the end. I wanted to play trumpet, uh, but my band director needed more trombones, so I reluctantly took it home. Didn't like it for the first couple weeks, but then fell in love with it instantly after I heard a couple of recordings of uh, professionals playing. And, and from that moment on in sixth grade, that was it. This is the Spokane Symphony show, but you in particular are actually highlighted in this show. How did it feel when the curator asked to borrow your outfit uh, for the exhibit? It was a surprise. Uh, I, I never really kind of expected that to happen. Um, I knew that uh, what I had fashion-wise was unique, but I, um, I was, again, thrilled to hear about this opportunity. Um, this is such a cool exhibit that's going on with the 75th anniversary, and to be part of it and to have my own little showcase there is a, a real privilege and an honor, and I'm very excited about it. Yes, yeah, we always wear all black, uh, usually, um, and when I first got here, I, I was kind of curious about what I should do, pushing the limits wise with fashion, but I slowly got more comfortable, and, and people started recognizing that, and uh, yeah, this is what I would wear, typically, for a Pops concert, something that's uh, of the uniform that we need to wear of all black, but has my own individual personality that that shines, literally, actually, with the chain, <laughs> it kinda, you can see it from the crowd, but yeah. It's kind of known in the orchestra world that the crowd needs to be quiet in between movements and clap properly at the right amount of, at the right appropriate time and it, we all wear our tails and tuxes and we look very dapper and you know everything like that but as the times roll on we we're trying to connect with the individual more and sometimes that means in this world to be a little bit more relaxed um, wear something a little different dressy but nice it's it's not so much on uh, everyone looking uniform rather than rather than having the uniform sound and, and working together and and with classical music, we kind of lose that sometimes when, when we're just trying to be all stuffy and stiff and rigid, uh, not only on stage, but in the audience too. And I feel like if we can incorporate more of like what jazz kind of brings to us, which is you sit back, you relax, you like you're at home. And if you want to appreciate what you're hearing on stage when it happens, you know, you can do it in between movements. You know, I wouldn't do it in the middle of the performance, but it, it is a thing that can be, um, I guess a, th a moving point in the orchestra world. We can we can move to a more relaxed um, vibe. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I've only played here for two years, but I, I still there's some there's been some good concerts. Um, so the top two pieces I would probably think of that I've had here in, in Spokane so far is one with James Lowe when we played Shostakovich uh, Suite um, that has this cool uh, is a jazz suite and it has this trombone solo in it and this waltz. And I just remember every single time we play that and we performed, it, I was just, I just felt on cloud nine because the way I connecting with James and, and just the overall orchestra was just playing in such a nice style and way I was just, that was very memorable for me. Um, it's, 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 it's not like the biggest piece in the repertoire, but it, for some reason that little moment really clicked with me. Um, and then the other one would probably have to be um, when we played Alpine Symphony or when we played Shost uh, Shostakovich 8. Um, during our conductor search, those two pieces were uh, probably the biggest bears of pieces I've had to play uh, and definitely most memorable so far. Um, at least that's in the orchestral world. Those are the top two, probably, yeah.